Hey guys, Marco here and back once again from my color screen. If you're looking for a creative, unique lock screen to turn your Android phone into something of sheer wonder, welcome to today's lock screen video tutorial. Let us begin. Great, so this lock screen titled Cloudsy Lock by MK Mathers is creative, it's unique, it really stands out from the crowd and it's trending very well on the My Color Screen site. It is a very simple setup that comes with a very standout clock as well as a few quick notifications such as your missed calls, your messages as well as your current temperature. But the thing that makes it stand out most of all is this really cool looking little unlock ribbon that when pulled down will unlock your phone just like that it's really simple to do so if you'd like this brilliantly looking android lock screen on your phone let us begin with today's video tutorial great so part one of this tutorial before you begin is the apps that you'll be needing first of all most importantly will be widget locker as that is basically your lock screen app as well as uccw as that'll be used for all the skins available at the top as well as a very useful file explorer, I highly recommend ES File Explorer as you can very easily transfer and extract files with ease. And then finally, the Lucid UCCW skins as you can see before us here. Don't worry, the link to all of these is in the description below as well as everything that you need to follow in order to create this simple setup. Just to take note, this comes in an APK that you need to download from the link and then install it onto your phone. So that APK that you've downloaded will appear, say, anywhere in your ES File Explorer. All you have to do is install it and it'll appear in your UCCW skin list. Next, what you want to do is copy the Cloudsy Lock folder or unzip it and then copy the folder either onto your phone or download it directly onto your phone and unzip it wherever you need to. One thing to take note about this folder is that it includes the ribbon uh, widget locker theme that you want to hold down on it and select copy or cut, doesn't really matter. But what does matter is copy it into your SD card and then into your data folder whereby you'll see your tesla coil sw.widgetlocker long folder here that you want to select it'll bring up three folders here you want to go into your themes you'll see you might have one or two themes already installed but what you want to do is select paste whereby you'll paste it into this folder as you can see i've pasted it there it'll now appear in your widget locker when you want to add in a custom slider so that is all our pre-work done so now we can move on to editing our widget locker. So the first thing you want to do once you've opened up your widget locker, depending if you have any apps or widgets on the lock screen, you want to drag them into the bin below or just remove them so you have a blank screen. Next, what you want to do is see the little settings button at the top there. You want to select it. And from here, we want to jump straight into look and feel. This look and feel menu will bring up a alternative wallpaper. You want to enable that as you obviously don't want to have your same wallpaper as your desktop. As now you want to select your wallpaper. So I use, prefer to use QuickPick, but you're welcome to use any gallery app. And now you want to find where you've pasted all of your wallpapers onto your phone. So now even though this says my Nexus 4, I kind of preferred using the HTC One wallpaper. Just because if you just as long as you drag the handles out far enough and you get it more or less in the middle then it looks much much better so I'm gonna select save now as this will now save your wallpaper next we want to jump into our layout and as you can see you want to get this these anchors here you want to drag it all the way to the bottom and you want to deselect automatically determine grid size why did we do that well now we can now have a custom grid size at the bottom here I always tend to go for a 12 by 12 just because it pretty much always makes things fit but if it doesn't you're welcome to change it Next, you want to select hide notification bar as you don't need the one at the top there. And you want to deselect label shortcuts. From here, you want to go back. If you're having that problem of just pushing the menu button and it unlocks your phone, you want to go into advanced. You want to go into home helper and you want to select these three. Home helper component, home helper block home and block home and other apps. It seems to work out pretty well. We, next, you want to go back and you want to select widget overlap as it comes in real handy with this setup. We want to go back now, we can go back again as that is our widget locker settings complete. Next we're going to be jumping in to the UCCW skins. So in order to set up your UCCW skins, very very easy on widget locker. You want to hold down on the lock screen and it'll bring up these options here. You want to go into your widgets. From here you want to scroll down to UCCW. 
let's go for a 4x3 for the top clock so let's go, scroll down it's going to be ready installed so we don't have to select use zip and you should now have these six skins appearing here you want to go for the bottom lucid uccw3 here the one that's got the dash between the clock but it's your personal preference but this is just the one that's been shown you're going to select it now and then tap the hand so now it's going to hopefully show the clock for you you want to hold down on it and select resize so it should be more or less the size you can make it bigger or smaller but that looks pretty good next we're going to add in the second uccw skin so next we're going to hold down on the lock screen we're going to select widgets once again and go back into uccw at right at the bottom and let's go for a four by two just to make things a bit easier but now we're going to be selecting use up at the top as we're going to be importing the author's skin that he has created this one called cloudy lock notes of start user remember to copy this onto your phone you're going to select it now and it's going to import it onto your phone you just need to tap the hand and it should be set up like this so you just want to hold down on it select resize and let's get it a bit bigger and remember if you want to send something forward or backwards all you want to do is hold down on the skin and select send to back as now if i want to resize this one again i can now get to it so that looks much better. Now you're welcome to customize your UCCW skins. Make sure that your lock widget is off, otherwise it won't open anything. So to do that, you just need to go back into your app draw, go into your, open up your UCCW, select your menu here, lock widgets, and make sure that it's off so that you'll be able to open up this UCCW that we see before us here. So from here, you're welcome to add in your hotspots if you prefer. If you have no idea what hotspots are, check in our UCCW tutorial in the link below. So also if you want to change any options in this skin here, it's not as customizable as that's what the author intended, but you still can choose some hotspots, say if you want to open up the clock by tapping that. Once you've got all your hotspots configured, you want to select your menu at the top here, lock widgets, and then select on, as now to prevent you from opening up the editor each time you bump your phone. Once that's all done, we just need to end off with that brilliant looking custom slider at the bottom let's do it great so in order to add this custom slider very very simple setup we just want to hold down on the lock screen select custom slider and bring up your options or select your slide to configure here and we've got a few to choose from but we want to go for the one right at the bottom called ribbon sense and it should look like that you want to deselect show clock we do not need the clock and you want to select done it's going to be a bit small so we can just hold down and select resize and then all you have to do is resize it just a bit bigger so it looks like that you can select back now and to test it out let's swipe down and brings us to our home screen how cool is that so all you have to do now is try it out just lock your phone so if you unlock our phone as you can see it's got everything that we need with our custom slider at the bottom that when slid down unlocks your phone Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco here from My Color Screen. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities and leave a like and comment at the bottom. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.